everyone, or is it afternoon? Anyways, my name is Latte. Yes, I said Latte. My mother was very specific with the pronunciation. Anyway, welcome to The Clue, a restaurant chain that specializes in lasagna tacos. Lasagna tacos. I don't even know. Why did we do that anyways? Anyhow, this is where our play will take place. Notice the bear stage. Get it? Bear? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not very funny. I know that. <coughs> Anyways, let's get this play on the road. Hey, got the bell. There it goes. This is Colonel Mustard. It's pronounced Colonel! I have dyslexia, you jerk! Anyway, Colonel Mustard is the founder of the clue. But there's just one little problem with him. Is. He has dementia and Alzheimer's. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna fuck oh. Honey, I'm home! I think. Where am I? Is that you, dear? Yes? Oh, oh, oh. This is Miss Scarlet. Wife to Colonel. Oh, hold on. Colonel Mustard. As you can see, she's a pretty gorgeous, but. With gorgeousness comes ditziness. She's very ditzy. You would think she's a, you know, a gold digger. Gold digger. Yep. But she's not. <laughs> Moving on. Oh dear, I'm glad that you're here before the guests. Guests? Yes, for Sherlock's 21st birthday dinner. Or did you forget? Of course he did. Shut it, you. <laughs> Sherlock, uh, I remember. Uh, Scarlet! Oh, my dear, it's good to see you. <laughs> oh, dear. I was just with Professor Plum in the kitchen dealing with the dinner situation. It seems Chef Agnes decided to make you fish lasagna tacos instead of our original lasagna taco recipe for Sherlock's birthday dinner. <laughs> my little man's finally turning 21. Now, you're probably wondering how old Miss Scarlet is. She's actually 55. Boy, she ages gracefully and like a slug. My little man is finally becoming a man. Ah, that sounds like a car. That means he's finally here. Maybe. We'll see. Here. It all depends on the car. <laughs> oh, hey, Mom, how are you? How's it going, Grandma? Hey, I thought I heard the birthday boy. I mean, man. Happy birthday, Sherlock. This is Sherlock, Miss Scarlet's only son. Hey, Scarlet. And right there, hiding behind him like a shadow, is Velma, Sherlock's best childhood friend. Who said that incorrectly? Childhood friend. And also a victim of one-sided love. Right next to him is Professor Plum, also co-founder of the Clue. Since uh, Scarlet and Colonel over here are pretty... He heads the entire game. Let's get everyone else out here, shall we? Oh, thank you, Professor Plum. Uh, anyways, Mom, uh, Irene's going to be coming a little late, so just expect her, okay? Oh, Irene, is that your little friend? I am his little friend. Mom, please, just... <laughs> okay, okay, I will talk about your lady friend no more. Thanks. Hey, Plus, where's your daughter? I have a daughter? Yes, you have a daughter. Peacock. Peacock? <laughs> Daughter after a bird. <laughs> That's a terrible name. <laughs> uh. Father, I am home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peacock! <laughs> My daughter, it's good to see you. Hey, Robin, how's it going? Oh, Agnes, that smells terrible. Get out. But I work so 
kitchen. Oh, uh, mom, mom, hold on. Um, I think I see some car lights out there. I think it's Irene. Okay, so let me go get her. Is it Irene? That's the girl that Sherlock likes. The girl I do anything with you like. His girl?
<laughs> I know who did it! The murderer was! Oh, hey, pretty picture. Get out the stage! We finally find ourselves in the kitchen where we unlikely do or are located. There's got to be the clue in the kitchen somewhere. Go ahead, Kate. 